Hey guys, it's Madam Warrior. Welcome back to more Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leap Welcome Amiibo. It is 7:11 and 11:11 p.m. What are the odds? We are lucky today with those numbers. We've got a new character wandering around over here. This is Sahara. <laughs> I am called Sahara, for that is my name. I come from a faraway land. I have many wallpapers for the papering of walls, many carpets for the petting of cars. Interesting. Okay. Um, so Sahara will charge you 3,000 bells to redo the wallpaper and carpet in your house. We're going to go ahead and do this because, as you've probably noticed in the Nookling shop, we haven't had any option to buy wallpaper or carpeting. So we've had to stick with what we originally got. And... It's good because we want to um, see the inside of our newly renovated, bigger and better house. Look at how amazing this is. Okay. I love this nature show that's on TV, by the way. All right, so we'll see what Sahara does with it. Sometimes she does really cool stuff with your room and then other times it's like a total mismatched mess. It kind of just depends. And I will say that Sahara does have some pieces that are exclusive to her. So that is pretty cool as well. You can't get all these carpets and wallpapers in the upgraded Nookling shops. But anyway, I put in for some more um, customizations. And so those will be up tomorrow. I basically did all of my daily tasks already too. Oh, she always gives you back your old wallpaper and carpet as well. So you get to keep that. Oh, Queen Madam, whoa. Anyway, um, all right, moment of truth. Yeah, I put in some renovations that should be up tomorrow and I wanna show off something new within our house. Whoa, dokey. this is different. Sahara, what were you thinking? This does not match our theme at all. Alright, we got a crap wallpaper and carpet. Alright, we're gonna replace this nonsense with what was already here, because that looks ten times better in my opinion. And we're also gonna say hi to Wisp and utilize Wisp for the first time. Oh, if we can manage to do so. Here we go. Okay, so I've got my amiibo reader. I want to show off our first actual amiibo. There are 16 Animal Crossing amiibo figures in total, and I'm going to use one of these today that I just randomly picked out of my amiibo bag. So this is a randomized choice. All right, let's see if I can, oh, I did. Yay, so Wisp is going to become Cap'n today. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you the options of what these th this function does with the figures. Not the cards, but this is specific to the figures. So Wisp basically becomes whatever character you scan in. Grants a single wish every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So our options are to hang out or I don't need anything. Now that's kind of stupid to do that. So we're going to say let's hang out. And <laughs> so because Cap'n has a stagnant place in this game, um, Wisp is going to have to fill the void. Fill in his boat, I guess. And we get Meow coupons for scanning an amiibo in the first place, so that's also pretty cool. And I know I mentioned that before, I just hadn't shown it off. So now... Here comes the fun part. Sahara, you suck! By the way, you can only get one um, carpet and wallpaper redo per visit of Sahara. She visits quite often, but not often enough for that hot mess that she left us. So now Wisp is manning the boat down here. Oh, ahoy matey! Alright, Captain's on vacation today. <laughs> So basically, whichever character you scan, you need to be very um, particular in some regards because, as you can see, I can't go to the island now. I am unable to visit the island until tomorrow because Wisp is currently holding Cap'n's position because Cap'n 
is now over here in the campground. So if you really want to do some shopping that day or um, go and have some new outfits or get some new outfits, do some designing at um, the Able Sisters, you know, you don't want to scan anybody who you're going to have to use their services for that day. So, anyway, now we're given the option to visit Cap'n. Cap'n traded his taxi and bus for the open sea, but he still likes to get behind the wheel of his old camper van. The horn toots louder and I do yar. Okay. <laughs> so naturally we have to scare him. Let's talk to him. Ahoy there. Oh my gosh, you probably noticed that the town tune is different today as well. I changed it because I said last time that I would like to have kind of a campground sort of town. I changed the town tune to be the theme of Camp Caprice from my favorite Nick tune as told by Ginger. So this was the Camp Caprice theme song from the summer camp episode, my favorite episode of the show. So that might be a kind of um, tough reference for some of you, but for those of you who know the show, you probably remember it, honestly. So anyway, what does Captain have for us? Cabana stuff. Yeah, he has cabana stuff as well. That's pretty cool. Ooh, driver's hat. That's cute. Let's see, I like the futon mattress. Model bus, model sailor. Ooh, here we go. We finally have the option to get um, the Nintendo 3DS from or a Wii U. These are exclusive to um, these characters, the amiibo figures. If you have an amiibo figure, you can scan them in and purchase a Nintendo 3DS or Wii U console instead of waiting to get one via lucky ticket in the Nooklings shop from the fortune cookies. So we're gonna go ahead and purchase the 3DS. Now some of these are special editions, so that's pretty cool. And we'll see some of those later as well as we scan more amiibos. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the hat. And that's gonna do it for that. See ya, Cap'n. All right, so have a couple things to point out. I am doing a late night episode today as promised on purpose. I said I'd do this at some point this week. And now I want us to take a look at the map for a second. So here we've got all of our villager houses and whatnot, but you may notice something else that is currently occupying the map that was not there before. Let's go check it out for real. And as you can see, we have another bridge, yay! We built a bridge. How exciting is that? So, oh my gosh, finally, Igly. We haven't talked to you at all. All right, wanna chat? Um, wow, we're still in the weather phase, huh? Small talk, can't get deeper with us. Oh no, dude, we've been playing this game too long for you to try and give us tips still. Okay. Ooh, oh my goodness. What? What do you think I'm talking about? Zombies or gyroids? Gyroids, obviously, we've played this game before. He's just trying to tell us how to play. Ugh. And he's holding- is that an axe? It looked like an axe from that angle. Alright, well, time to leave that zone then. Okay, so a couple things I want to do. First of all, I want to put in an ordinance. I want to put in the beautiful town ordinance because there are rewards for... Oh shoot, we didn't do this yet. I'd be happy to. Okay, every time you finish a public works project, the town will throw you a party, basically. Um, but anyway, you have to either agree to it or not. As you get further in and you've done it like 17 times, you're like, alright, I don't need a party anymore. So, um, kind of just is personal preference at a point. You don't have to have a party, but of course we're going to because it's the first time we're seeing it. And the cool thing is that the animals tend to talk to each other more and you get more interaction in this scenario because you've got a bunch of people around, so. Okay. Welcome to the grand completion of the cobblestone bridge. Whoa. Alright, I'll be your host today. 
This is the weirdest ceremony ever. We're all on this bridge except Sally's the odd one out who doesn't get to stand on it. Sorry, to, sorry girl. Okay. Okay, what do I want to say? We did it. Hooray for everyone. On to the next project. Um, I'm gonna say that because I donated like 99.9% .9 of the funds, so I don't know what this wee nonsense is. Okay. So now you get a popper. And you get to celebrate like this. Ready, set, yay! How exciting. So you litter confetti everywhere that disappears magically. And then you can go back to doing whatever the heck you want to do for the day. Like I was trying to do, which was put in an ordinance for a beautiful town. So anyway, let's talk to Caesar. Why are you- where are you running so fast? You know what I didn't even realize is his freaking little butt sticks out. No, I don't like paint! Don't try and get me to like neighbors that I don't want! Okay, well everybody's spread out. No one's talking to each other. They all hate each other. Sorry guys. Anyway. I want to do the beautiful town ordinance. I'm gonna try and say this for the third time. Because you're able to unlock certain tools this way so okay let's go ahead and put this in so we don't have to worry about weeds and we can maintain a perfect town all right we're gonna do it and a beautiful town thank you guys so much for pointing out what the wealthy town does i was right in my guess that you are able to make more money from what you sell but everything also costs more, so it seems kind of dumb. Honestly, it seems like the worst one. All right, exactly. We want to have a beautiful town. We want to have a, what? Keep Big Pimp beautiful. Let's do it. So anyway, yeah, it seems like the most pointless one. And it's honestly like the only one I've not done. And it seems like I looked it up a long time ago and I didn't do it for that reason. Okay, crap. I need to do one more thing here. I want to put in another public works project. This was requested via comment and I agree with this request. I This would be my second choice. Now, I would add another bridge right away, but that's kind of boring to do the same thing twice in a row. Alright. What? <laughs> oh, the reset center. No. Yeah, whoops. Um, okay, cobblestone. Suspension bridge I might add next time. I think that would be cute to have kind of a variety. Okay. I, oh, I did get a request from a villager as well for the lighthouse. Now that doesn't really suit our theme at all, so I probably won't be adding that, to be honest. Even though it is a throwback to the original game. However, I am going to add a campsite. Alright, so... You won't be able to demolish the campsite project once it's finished. This is one of the only projects, I believe, that you cannot demolish. So be very careful in your placement. Now in my regular town, my personal town, it's kind of funny. I put the campground down, uh, you know, years ago when I got the game. And after the update, my camp site of Harvey's, like Harvey's campground, is right next to it. It's so weird. Like the the opening to it. Okay, we've got like all this open space. Um, where do I want it? Maybe like in this area? Well, that's kind of close. Ooh, you know what? Why don't we go over here in this little open space? That would be super cute to have a campground like right here. Yes, how about here? Does this work? What do you think? Oh, good, okay. Oh man, fireworks outside. <laughs> okay, that's super cute. I like that. It's right next to the river too. That's really, really, really pimp. Okay. So, Jesus, did you take out every tree that exists? All right, yeah, we get it. Oh my God, I was like, seriously, all the trees are gone? I don't understand. All right, so let's do the initial donation. We will donate 9,800 just to get headway on it. 9,800. So that way we only owe 50. I think we actually could pay this off right now too. So we might as well just do that. 
I was thinking about it. I usually just pay off the odd amount first, so that way I can save my money for other things, but I kind of want the campground to appear sooner rather than later, so we'll go ahead and get some more, some more bells out. And we've got to meet this chick. This is Phyllis. Bum is on the rail. Bum is on the rail. Look at me. My bum is on the rail. Mm, huh. Oh, it's just another customer. She's still a brat. We still don't like her, and she's rude. We don't want anything from her. Just to bug her and to meet her. Yeah, so she doesn't appear until after 10 o'clock, I think? It's either 10 or 11 o'clock. It's a lot later in this game than in other games. She basically appears at sundown in other games. It's kind of weird. All right, um, so we're gonna take out, we're just gonna take out 50,000, exactly, so that way we're not low on bells in our pocket. Okay, I want to point out a couple things too. There was a notice on the board earlier when I got my fossils that said Nookling Junction will be closed tomorrow for renovation. So we're getting the next step up from Nookling Junction as far as the shop goes. So we should be able to purchase wallpaper and um, carpet now, which is great. Also, we got a new flower shop. We will have to go in this shop tomorrow because all these shops are closed. It's too late. We've got another shop over here under construction as well. So we've got quite a bit to do on Main Street tomorrow and I'm very excited for it. Nothing over here yet. Just a rundown looking alleyway there. So our Main Street is building. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so let's pay off Lloyd. And then we will get down to saving and calling it a night. I know, this was a quick one. All right. Good evening. Okay. We will donate 50000 Oh, you know what? We didn't actually go in the regular campsite RV of the day. So we can end on that note. Yay! Awesome! The project donation goal has been met. Good for us. Okay. So we should have our campsite tomorrow, which is pretty cool. Then I think the next thing I'll do with my bells is get money to pay off our house yet again so we can add that next room. Okay. Who are ya? Let's meet you. <laughs> it is... Zipper. <laughs> Zipper T Bunny, everybody. Oh ho, you live here, flippity skippity. He's very strange. Camping gives Zipper a chance to finally get out of that stuffy old costume, and er, we're being told in no uncertain terms that it is not a costume. <laughs> Shocking. His furniture includes the following. Egg wall, egg floor, bunny hood. How cute. Lots of egg stuff, which is excellent. Anyway, um, that is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed these new additions to Big Pimp, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, pimps. <laughs>